Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Fabio Quadraro discussing running out of fuel at the Japanese Grand Prix in Motegi. Now, speaking after the race, Fabio said, I am still super happy with how our race went. This, by far, was one of our best GPs of this year. However, we did run out of fuel. Two times in three races, and I think this is a little bit too much. Already, just before the bridge, I started to feel it run out of fuel. Then, coming out of the last corner, the bike, it just stopped. I had no warning of low fuel until it was too late. For me, it is okay, but we're still not on top of the electronics. I think the strategy with fuel is clearly not working either. Also, the lights and the dashboard, this is the main problem. The lights on the dashboard are not working as well as we expected. So this is why the light appeared when I was without fuel and it was already too late to save it. It was a really rough weekend though when I do look back on it. I felt like I was with a used tyre from the very first lap of the race. I didn't feel any grip from the beginning and this is something we cannot understand. Our grip all... all, Our grip always depends on how much, our grip always depends way too much on the track conditions rather than from the bike. Now, I think Fabio is giving us a really, really good insight here is that, look, they have definitely, in my view, turned up the wick on the inline four. You know, it is getting much, much more thirstier and running out of fuel clearly shows that there's a systematic problem there with the fuel indication. And as he said, you know, when he was coming out of the bridge with only a couple of corners to go, the bike started to spit and fart and and let it know that it was a bit thirsty. Now, we do know that Motegi is a circuit where, you know, it is a thirsty circuit for the bikes. But again, Yamaha not having enough warning for the riders. This is kind of a rookie move. And we always know there with the the bikes have data within it and, you know, they're normally able to stretch the fuel to the end just across the line. But, you know, with this warnings, the the electronics package, you know, most manufacturers have this well sorted. You can see at some times messages go to riders saying map two or map five or, or whatnot. And. You know, this information wasn't getting to Fabio. The bike wasn't dialing back the power related to the fuel because they do have these systems, let's not forget. So I do find it a little bit weird that Fabio is coming out and that they're suffering with this. You know, they run out of fuel once. Hey, you can say, okay, maybe, you know, twice is a little bit um, suspicious. Now, I will also say that I do realize Peko also (laughs) has run out of fuel just after the line but that's the perfect place to be running out of fuel but i definitely love to know your thoughts what do you think of fabio quadraro's comments about running out of fuel at the japanese grand prix last weekend definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll be back again tomorrow with another video